Hello everyone and thank you for joining us today. We're going to be sharing with you our mission update for May 2023. We were privileged by God to conduct evangelism in Kalmanoe, which is part of our district here in uh, Laguna. Our first Sabbath upon arrival from the United States at our local church in Louisiana, Laguna. Which actually uh, was April the 1st. We arrived the 31st and then that was the next day Sabbath. Okay, so um, anyways, we were able to meet uh, the speaker that was invited to speak at our church, the guy on the far left, his, nun, his name is Sonny. And uh, then we also met the Australian man that you see to my right, to me and Daryl's right there, and his wife. His name is Arthur, and I forgot the wife's name. What's her name? Anyways, um, and so uh, while we were talking, Arthur was asking us what we do in the Philippines, and I started sharing about our ministry and how we do evangelism. We do um, health work. We do cleansing programs. We do medical missions. Uh, we do health lectures, etc. So he said, hey, why not, why not join us? Because we're going to be conducting a crusade. They call it crusade here in the Philippines. Evangelistic series um, in um, Kalmanoi Church. And so here I am pictured here with Sonny. He's the uh, brother that did the, all the Bible topics. And Daryl and I and, and Lorna, we did the uh, health lectures. And so I'll show you a picture of the uh, location. Uh, this is Kalmanoi Seventh-day Adventist Church. And it's way out in what we call the Bukid or in the country. It's about an hour drive from where we live in Less the country. Than. Yeah, well, about 40, 40, about 40 minutes. Anyways, and there's some rough road, and uh, you'll be seeing that later in this video. So but, Monday, it started on a Sunday, and I think um, during the day, again, we would do medical missions where we do blood pressure check and weight, and then... Um, we would give, we would do a health scan, and then we would give again natural supplements, and then reading glasses. Yeah, and a lot of people were really, really happy because we gave them free supplements, we gave them reading glasses, we counseled them about their lifestyle habits. So a lot of people came. Um, here's Lorna doing uh, some Hilot massage on some of the ladies there that came who had some issues that needed addressing. The nightly meetings were packed. The church was packed every night. It's a small church, but there were even people outside that were listening, and um, there was a lot of children. There was a children's program going on outside every night, and uh, it was a tremendous blessing. Um, we had done some evangelistic efforts at this church many years ago, but... Uh, now they have more people who actually move from the cities uh, to this country area, and they also invited people, so there was a lot more people uh, during this effort. So it's actually amazing how God providentially arranged this meeting. We just met Brother Arthur and Brother Sunny, and then here we were scheduled to, to um, participate in this crusade or on this evangelism even before we left for Samar. Yeah. And actually, we were in Samar and behold, for almost a month. One week was, you know, for, for travel. And then we got back at the end of... Um, April. At the end of April. And then a few days later, we started this evangelism with this, uh, with this brother. And so... God really arranged everything, and we got back right in time for for that to happen. Okay, so we're going to show you some videos of <clears throat> the actual location and how we got there. <laughs> so here we are in uh, Kalmenoe, uh, which is the place where we've been having an evangelistic series. We've been doing all the health lectures, food demos, and medical mission. And uh, it rained a couple hours ago, and now here we are. We're gonna walk 30 minutes in the mud just to get to the meeting because, but we're gonna eat first. So anyways, uh, we're all praising God. Anyways. So while we were there preparing to eat our lunch, we met this uh, 90 year old man and his wife who's quite a bit younger than he is. 
And uh, this guy turns out to be an Adventist. And I was asking him, <clears throat> uh, so what do you do for a living? And he told me he's a farmer. He's been planting since he was a kid. And he walks miles and miles and miles every single day. And I said, so how far is the walk from here to your house where you live? He said, oh, about an hour. I said, wow, that's amazing. And I said, and, and, uh, and what, do you, what were you doing out there in, in, the, you know, in the farm? He says, planting vegetables. I said, wow, praise the Lord. I said, do you eat a lot of vegetables? He said, absolutely. <laughs> so it was really amazing. What a testimony to exercise and, and you know, eating lots of vegetables. It was really a powerful testimony. So we greeted them and we had a nice chat and then we ate our lunch. So then we proceeded on our way to the meetings. So here we are in Kalmanoi. This is the last night of the evangelistic series. And uh, we have to walk through the mud. It's not too bad, but um, <clears throat> it's too slick for the car. We've been driving the car pretty much every night. But uh, right now the road is wet and there's some really bad spots up ahead. This is going to be about a 30 minute walk. <clears throat> you the, can see. Um, the motorcycle could have made it, right? Uh, yeah, but it's going to be a little slick in some spots. So, the rest of the team and it's are, almost Sabbath. The uh, sun is going down real quick on us and the rest of the team have done they went ahead because we had to get some stuff. So anyways, we're hauling in a little bit of equipment. We're going to do a green smoothie demo tonight and uh praise it's, the lord it's this more is, fun in the philippines that's right <laughs> anyways praise the Happy lord we're Sabbath. excited you know the the church has been packed every night there's a lot of people and a number of them are uh taking their stand for the lord and giving their life to christ there's some backslider adventist people who are coming as well and god is working so we're really excited about this effort here and uh we just want to ask your prayers and uh yeah so now we have a long walk ahead of us all right here we go show them some yeah see <laughs> yeah there's some really bad spots i'll show you up ahead when we get up ahead oh here we are we made it to the church <laughs> we had a half an hour walk through the mud but praise the lord we're here and uh the meeting's going to start in a few minutes and i'm the first speaker so praise god so every night we did health lectures and uh, some of the nights we did food demos as well like green smoothies and how to make a salad dressing and how to make some salads and things like that. <clears throat> so here's a picture of me giving a lecture there. And then um, uh, oftentimes we had Lorna do some lectures as well. So we would switch between Ate Lorna or me and then James. Sometimes James and Ate Lorna will speak, or James and me will speak. And so at the conclusion of the meetings, uh, Brother Sonny made an appeal for those who want to give their lives to Jesus. In baptism would come forward, and so here's a picture of those who have chosen to surrender their lives to Christ coming forward. And here's a picture of them. And I'll show you some pictures of the baptisms that took place. It's about, a, I'd say it was about a 20-minute walk to the place where we had the baptisms on the river. So here's our district pastor baptizing these people. And some more baptisms. So here's the group. I think there was about 13 baptisms. 14. 14, yeah. So here's a picture of us with all the baptismal candidates, Brother Arthur and his wife and uh, Daryl and I, and of course, uh, Brother Sonny and his wife and some of our brethren and, and some of the Baptists. And of course the pastor, yeah, the pastor is there as well. So here we are by the river. After the baptisms, we were privileged to give Bibles to each of the baptismal candidates. We were short about four Bibles, but Arthur told me the other day when we visited him that they were able to purchase the other Bibles and to get those to those people who didn't receive a Bible on the same day as their baptism. So here we are giving Bibles to them. And of course, as a speaker, um, myself as well as Brother Sonny and even Arthur, uh, we were able to admonish the brethren 
uh, the newly baptized, and we admonish the church to love them, to care for them, to nurture them, and to invite them to their homes and let them feel as part of the family of God, which they are. They are part of God's family, and they have been adopted into his heavenly family. So we encourage our brethren to nurture these dear folks and watch out for their spiritual welfare. So here's the group with our district pastor on the far left there. And of course, me and Brother Arthur there, you can't mistake us. <laughs> and uh, all of the baptismal candidates. And afterwards, we received a um, certificate of appreciation from our uh, district for the evangelism. Now I'm going to show you a really neat video of the area where uh, Brother Arthur and I had um, visited uh, somebody. And I'll show you this video. So here I am with uh, Brother Arthur from Australia. We've been working together here with this evangelistic series and Brother Sonny who's coming up here. But we're gonna go visit somebody who needs some encouragement. And uh, so we're heading on this trail. I just wanted you to see how beautiful this Bukid or this country place is where we're at. It's unreal. This is absolutely gorgeous place. So let me just uh, show you here. And we're heading to somebody's house. We're going to visit this person because they need some encouragement. But anyways, beautiful place. Happy Let's Sabbath. Do it. Happy <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so we are riding in a 4x4, four four. it's called Rusko, it's a 4x4, four four, three-cylinder vehicle, it's like a little truck, and they're going to take us back, back on the muddy trail that we took coming in, so here we go, this is going to be fun, so there's a lot of us, all right, let's pray, let's pray. Uh, let's pray, let's pray. Father in heaven, please protect us and keep us safe. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Okay. Okay, Aisna, let's go. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye. Okay. okay, here we go. That's a good start. Huh? <laughs> That's a good start. <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, I don't know how many people's in here, maybe 10 or 12 of us. <laughs> Probably overloaded, but that's okay. <laughs> Duck, Sonny can get out and push. <laughs> right, Sonny? <laughs> but I'm me tired. Off road now. Wow. <laughs> okay. Well, we hope that uh, you enjoyed this uh, presentation of our mission to Kalmanoe. God bless the effort, and uh, shortly thereafter, we received an invitation from a pastor friend of ours in Palawan, and Palawan is an island kind of off to the left of the Philippines. You can see it on the map here. Um, of course, we live in the big island in Luzon, south of Manila, about three to three and a half hours, 
And uh, where we came from in our previous uh, mission was in uh, Samar, uh, which is south of, it's close to Tacloban City, which you can see there on the right. But Palawan is in the far left, kind of in the, um, it's in the South China Sea, actually. Um, and you've heard of the Spratly Islands where the Chinese are building some, you know, um, military installations and whatnot out there. You've heard about all that, but that's pretty close to Palawan. But anyways, Palawan is a really amazing place. And we've been invited to do a one week evangelistic series along with Medical Mission with our team. And our team that will be going with us is pictured here, uh, with the exception of the lady in the white there in the middle. She's going, she's going back to the U.S. I think she already left. But this is from our picture in Samar. But this is our group. We're going to be uh, traveling, all of us together, to Palawan. We're going to be conducting medical mission. We're going to be doing, again, the blood pressure check, the weight, uh, health scan. We're going to be giving uh, reading glasses and counseling people and giving free supplements uh, to help them with their health. And, of course, we'll be going to, uh, Daryl, Daryl and Lorna will be doing the uh, health lectures and I will be conducting the Bible topics for the evangelistic series. It's a one-week series, and we will be in Palawan 16 days. Um, so we need your prayers, and um, we'd like to appeal for uh, your support because we, uh, we looked into the ways of traveling to Palawan, but because the boat only leaves once a week from Manila and uh, once a week coming back, uh, it kind of throws off the dates for when we need to be back in Luzon. So we have to fly to uh, Palawan. But we found some really good airfares and we're praying that uh, God will touch the hearts of those who are willing to help support this mission coming up. And uh, if you'd like to uh, donate, if you'd like to share something to help cover the expenses of our travel for our team, um, you can contact us at our email which is steps to Eden at yahoo.com. Or if you can message us on Facebook Messenger, James Kirtley or Daryl Kirtley. And of course, if you want to call or text us, you can use our US number if you're in the US. And that's 916 476 9772. If you call us, there's no charge. Uh, but remember, we're 15 hours ahead of California and 12 hours ahead of the East Coast. Um, and if you're in the Philippines, you can call our cell phone or text our cell phone numbers 0908-438-1042 or 0908-438-1023. We are on the smart network here in the Philippines. And please continue to pray for us. We do have a lot of invitations. We actually, uh, after Palawan, a week after, we're going to be going to Aurora also, which is the northeastern, northeastern part, part of Luzon. Of Luzon. And um, we're going to be there for two weeks also. And then we also have an invitation to go to Iloilo. Um, we're waiting to, uh, we're just uh, waiting on the Lord on that to finalize that. They want us, but uh, the, the brethren there, the district, does, they do not have the funds yet to do that so we're praying the lord will provide for that also if he if it's his will so please pray for us uh, as soon as we arrive god already uh had everything planned out yep, started <laughs> uh, the plan the scheduling and everything actually the very first sab sabbath that we were scheduled for the crusade here the we we got two schedule one is for a local church where we're going to be speaking at this sabbath and then the other one was at that evangelism. So God already lined up, uh, worked for us uh, as soon as we arrived. Amen. So we're so excited because we've been praying even before we came back to the Philippines that God would open up doors of opportunity for us to uplift Jesus Christ and to give the message that will bring salvation to those who hear. So we're so thankful that God has answered our prayers we have a very busy schedule ahead of us, and please remember to pray for us, and if God puts it in your heart to help us, please contact us at our information here. Thank you for joining us today, and may God bless you.